welcome to vlog entry 2 about a month late sorry about 3 months late 4 months late yeah about 4 months late my last entry was the 22nd of January 2016 so yeah I'm kind of late with that but yeah that's as I said in my last vlog two weeks every two weeks that's no that's not gonna happen not enough happens in that in that course of a time so I'm gonna expand it maybe depends on how much or how little happens but what you're getting now is a more or less a uh, um, <laughs> a brief rundown of what's going on uh, well, for starters, I've been moved to a new job because the place I was working at before was, well, they just couldn't hire me. There was no thing, there was no place for me to do. There was, I couldn't get a job. I mean, I would have liked a job there, but I mean, even if I had my, my forklift license, I still couldn't get a job there. I mean, it wasn't guaranteed. So I've moved to a garden center. I've been there for about two months now and I'm I hate to admit it but I'm enjoying it to some degree I've I enjoy getting my hands dirty heck I enjoy getting myself dirty in general that's it's fun uh, the my unity projects I've got quite a f I've got three maybe four going at the moment but it's, it's I'm not entirely sure why I do this why I keep starting a new one and then putting it on hold and starting another one and then putting that on hold no that's that's not gonna happen but yeah no that's basically what's going on also i'd like to uh over the last couple of weeks i've gained a few new followers though this happened in during my playthrough of far cry 3 which i am proud to say that i have now finished finally uh skillerx01 I'm looking at you, uh, Adam NFS. Thanks for the follow. I'm. I hope to do more streaming, both alongside you and Morgan Start at one point. Uh, Gooey underscore twenty twenty two forty eight. Thanks for the follow. Mitra nine and Panda underscore Love one eleven. Again, thank you all for the follows. I. Do, I will try and stream some more, but as as my channel says, I am only a part-time gamer, so it's not always t I won't always have time to stream, let alone sit down and edit videos. As I have a social life outside that as well, but then again, that's pretty much goes with it. If with what I do, so no. Um, yeah, for my games list, I'll be for current games that I have, and no, yes, for current games that I have, I will be putting a link to the blog page with my current list of games on across all my platforms. Uh, also, for those of you interested in WoW and an RP perspective. Uh, the Ems of Lordaeron on Darkmoon Fair EU uh, do a trip advisor where we go round or go through Azeroth and later on Outland, Northrend, Cataclysm areas and indeed we uh, into Pandaria and not to mention Warlords where we will just venture around the continent looking at the menu, looking at the place, see essentially a, an RPS perspective of some of the place maybe. I'll leave a link down below to the Ember's website as well. So, um, be sure to catch myself, Morgan, Morgan and uh, Skull Chaser again. All links are down below, below the description and I hope to see you guys later in another in another time in another place online or in cyberspace. This is JC of the Part-Time Gamer Channel logging out. I know I've heard of the elements of harmony.
I am JC of the Part-Time Gamer Channel, and if you've come this far into my vlog, then I suppose you deserve some kind of achievement. As the last couple of months, I've been through something very, very odd, but very fascinating, very, a lot of fun. Which then brings me to this good news, bad news thing. The bad news, I'm a, I'm a brony. The good news, I'm a brony. <laughs> Why is this bad news? Well, some, when people think MLP, they will usually think a bunch of guys going off into the woods and doing, say, Rule 34. <laughs> Myself, I'd l then there's the other group of bronies, like myself and a few others, uh, that, uh, that actually enjoy the show and get really hyped up about when there's a new trailer of a new episode, or even if there's a new season coming out. It's, very, it's just everybody aboard the hype train. There is so much fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, sure, the target audience is little girls, but if, but as an adult, if you kind of see beyond, if you can see beyond the whole pastel colors and the very basic principles of friendship and look, in my opinion, it's clever writing, fun characters, and as much as I hate to say it, I feel like I've learned a lot from Miss Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> or even as things may go, my the pony I personally relate to most, I'm, as I'm sure a lot of other guys do, is Fluttershy. Yay! I'll get into that later, maybe in another, maybe in another vlog. But right now, I just wanted to Claim my pony pride. I'm, I'm long gone. But yeah, if before you do go exploring the MLP, just before you dismiss it, just go give it a look. Take a, watch a few episodes and try and drag yourself away. I mean, I did that. I mean, I was. I sent a link of Fluttershy talking to Eevee Bot, and that kind of just got me intrigued into what this whole thing is and why she was so quiet, why she was so shy. But no, that was about it. And then I started researching the whole Brony thing, Brony led to fandom, fandom led to the series. And I, and I essentially started looking for websites where I could watch it online for free. I found that. Um, once I did, I started with episode... Of course, I started with episode 1, season 1. That got... That went by really quickly. Which then got me even more into the series. And then went into episode 3. 3 episodes turned into 4, 5. And in about a week and a half, I'd seen f all five seasons. <laughs> all five seasons. I'm not sure if I should be proud of that or disturbed. That, but no. On the on another note, my channel will, as you know, I am a part-time gamer, which means that I have other hobbies outside gaming, which is also, which brings me to this vlog, especially as I have started downloading the seasons and the episodes bringing me to, and the more I look into them, the more I sit there and edit and have just play around and have fun with my editing software, I'm noticing all kinds of, all kinds of ridiculous things. Not just, not just simple animation errors, but even... Well, let's just say, I've started questioning cartoon logic. Yeah, I know. I know. I shouldn't, but... It's, it's horrible. And I think it's great, but I think it would be really fun. 
and funny if if I pointed out these all these silly things that doesn't make this series make sense. Now, before you say anything, yeah, Equestria, the main land of the series, is full of magic. So if it's and much like World of Warcraft, if something doesn't make sense, we blame magic. I'm gonna have the fun at and actually look into the depth. I mean, I won't be able to give you a detailed description, let alone the maths for it, but I can, I will give you links to websites and converters, whatnot, to get the information you so desire. I'm here to have fun and poke fun at this series that has gained this massive following by not just, not just by late teens, but young men, let alone young women in their early 20s, mid 20s ish, like myself. Why do I watch it? Why do I watch it if I know what the target demographic is? I mean, it's a, it's not all things in my life, let alone any other guy's life in my position. We're not all guts, glory, and go. I mean, we do have a soft side, would you believe it or not? But no, this is, I hope, in the at the beginning of May, I hope to get my first episode out of Questioning Equestria, Episode 1, Season 1, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And that's what it is. Friendship is magic, but it, it has to make sense. And that's my time. Thank you for joining me in the wood corner. Bye.